Welcome back everybody. Today I want to talk to you about the new anime LCM checkpoint. When we did the video yesterday, I decided to have a little poke around the guy's GitHub. Noticed a bunch of other custom nodes which we're probably going to be taking a look at over the next couple of days. So, uh, first things first, all credit to Kijai. That's the man, the man of the hour. He's been going around creating all these custom checkpoints for us. So thanks very much to you, sir. His GitHub's awesome. I had a look at a couple of his things. Turns out soup here and a couple of other things that we've used in the past. Got a plane going on over there. So soup here and a couple of the other things that we've liked on this channel. A lot of things I've shown you have all come from Kijai. Well, he's had some hand in it. So we're going to take a look at his anime LCM SVDXT. So I have my Virgil checkpoint which was my base this was my base workflow just to get it working now this checkpoint's come along it's transformed things somewhat so we just jump into comfy and take a look at the workflow real quick let's go full screen and it's the same workflow as before i've just moved things around a little bit um essentially in the description we've got the link to the video which isn't there yet but it will be the link to the workflow category, because there may be other packs in future, which update this. Uh, so that's a good link. Uh, the model, which you're going to need. So we've put the, uh, the link to the hugging face right there. So that's where you're going to get that checkpoint. Um, and put that into your checkpoints folder. Load it up. So it's the anime LCM SVDXT 1.1 FP16 comfy.safe tensors. And then what I've done is I've loaded in an image. First resizer, just make sure that whatever you're giving it isn't too crazy. It's going to try and keep proportion. Everyone's out flying planes today. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, now, LCM is recommended four or eight steps. So I just went with eight. So eight steps, one CFG. That's what's recommended by the guy that trained the model. I found SGM uniform was fine uh it's up to you play around and find out which scheduler you prefer but i get good results with this setup this is just a little note so when you get a good seed you can go back to it but it's a bit randomized anyway to be honest it's just one of my thing i just put a note there with the seed that i was on earlier so i could go back to it but it's just a little scrapbook it doesn't really matter i've got it on fixed right now now this is something which i've added which is new so it's a bunch of switches if you say if you say no 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 like now all of this lot is disabled okay now obviously if i say yes it's gonna uh make this area the high res fix it's gonna make the high res fix run okay now what i've done is i've set it to do keep proportion throughout and then i've put like a, a width and height in so it won't actually make you do a 1280 by 1280, but it will make sure the max dimension is 1280 because it's going to preserve the proportion of your whatever image you put in. So it's like it'll do any aspect ratio kind of thing or it'll try its best. Um, but obviously you could set this higher as right here. We're generating in 1024, but we're actually saying, oh, but hang on. When you do the ups, when you do the high res fix, make it 1280. And then, of course, when we get to the interpolation phase, because we can turn on one, the other, or both, it doesn't matter. Okay, it'll work just fine. But here we could put in like 1536, for example. We could look like try and cheat a little bit of upscaling out of the interpolation stage, which is fine for some, some things. But uh, by default, I have it actually downscale back to 1024 with Rife just for the purpose of the demo. Um, we're going to have upscale yes on that one for the high res fix. So essentially, we're going to generate our image in the normal way. So if you've never seen that before, that's what it looks like. You can control your motion bucket. I've got it set up to do 24 uh, frames, but do it at 12 FPS. So then I get two seconds, right? Uh, you can mess around with all of this stuff. I recommend these settings are good. Um, and then what we come to the first stage. So this is your preview combine. So it's going to say SVD first. 
right? And it's set up to be an MP4, right? I'm gonna make sure you actually get an MP4. Um, and then what you wanna do is you wanna go over to the next phase. So we've got high res fix on, okay? So as, again, this is where we do our sort of resizing. It's not a real upscaler. You could put an upscaler here, but there could be a lot of frames. So go easy. I've tried to keep it light. Um, generally, if you make it a bit bigger and then do a high res fix, it should fill in the gaps. So, you know, your mileage may vary, but like I said, it seems to work okay. And as, as I said, you can just set everything to 1024 and see no upscaling at all. In fact, let's do that now. So let's do 1024, 1000. And this is the longest size, right? Because it's preserving the aspect ratio. All right. So then we go up here, set to MP4, set to save output. That's another thing you want to make sure. Sometimes you'll forget to have, for example, here, save output was not on. And this one, save output was not on. And that one, save output is on. That's fine. See, it was set up to do previews, but not save them. So that means that when you've got it in preview mode, it doesn't actually save the video at all. It waits for you to actually be like, yeah, I like that one, and then generate again. Because it works just like the uh, other setup that I have, where you see a good generation, and then you enable the extras that you want. Because obviously this is going to take much, much longer if you have these enabled. So I'll give you a, a, a demonstration in a second. So finally, we get to the interpolation, and what it's doing is it's doubling. So if you see here, we've got a multiplier of two. Let's go to the other one. Oh, turn them all off. Right, okay. So multiplier of two. It's going to do a 10-frame cache. That's pretty much all it is. I mean, here we do the frame rate of 12, so that means we keep the frame rate. You'll end up with a four-second video from this. So as you can see, this is the video that we're getting out of it. Not too bad. That might be a preview as well. Let's see, this one I'll let preview down. So, let's give it a run. And what we should get, is we should just get the preview. And if I like it, what I'll do, is I will, you know, turn on the options. Okay, so let's say, oh, I like that. Okay, cool. So now we're going to do the high-res fix, and we're going to do, Rife interpolation, right? And because it's already done this part and we've got everything locked, it's just going to move on. It won't do it all again. It'll just do it from here. And there you have the high res fix. It's gotten a lot sharper. Okay. And then let's get up to the uh, film uh, rife. There's the rife interpolation. So then you get a four second slow rising shot there. All right. And we didn't do any upscaling on that one. So, for example, if I wanted to, then what I could have done is I could have said 1280 there. And then maybe let's just go back to 1024 afterwards. We'll do it again. And so it's going to do the high res stage first. And then once that's sent up here, we'll see the difference. Obviously, it'll shrink it back down, so it's not going to be actually bigger. But it'll have the opportunity to build in and fix some details before shrinking it. Yeah, it's just a little bit sharper, to be honest. And then, so what I would then do is, um, what I would then do is I would go, oh, well, if it's actually 1280, it looked pretty good. Um, we could do 1280 or even 1536. Set it higher and higher. You know, I've gone up to a 2048. It doesn't look too bad. It's certainly better than the base checkpoint. So that's what I wanted to bring to your attention. There's going to be a couple more workflow updates where we're going to incorporate some of these new tools. Um, recently, we've looked at many services where we can generate from an image to make a short video clip. And so what I wanted to do was start trying to dig around and look for new tools that are going to make it possible for us to do that in Comfy. So we've got a couple of really cool things to look at coming up. So uh, that's pretty much all I had to show you. Um, you know, 
there's more demo videos up on here if you want to see some more demo videos right um but oh spoilers oh. <laughs> so anyway we're going to be looking at some cool stuff next so don't miss out um i'm hoping to do some more with this model and other video generation models and a couple of other things for image tricks as well so with that all being said i want to thank you again and i'll see you next time